value purity, so they don't want a girl that slept with a lot of guys. It, it's valuable to a guy to have a girl that hasn't had as many experiences because it lowers your value the more people you slept with. How would you feel if you were dating a girl and you found out later, like after you were together, that she slept with three of your boys? <coughs> No. Three, three acquaintances. You don't know them well. Oh, that's still. I found out later. Yeah, later. Like, yeah, no, I'd be fuming. Yeah. 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 If, I, if, I knew before, if you knew it's one thing, but it, but I but if that's really hidden from you, and then it's just like you find out later, it's just like I'm wow. in a bad place. Weird. Right. Yeah. Like, how did I get here? Like, yo, it's Poppy, y'all. I'm Ace. Hi, and I'm Star. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I right, bet. Let's get into it. All right. So boom, we got just pearly things. Modern women can't accept men don't like passed around women. That sounds about right. Now we just we had just discovered her page like this week in one of our previous videos. She's got some interesting yeah. stuff. She was on here talking talking hot. I like that. I like that. <laughs> one of the few women you could find on the internet that's that's not talking out here loose. <laughs> yeah, but not just not out here loose, but like that's talking facts. Yeah. Like that's talking facts. That's not bowing down to like all these false narratives and this yeah. this feelings based fucking nonsense facts <laughs> like this nonsense like this invisible wall. fucking wall that women put up that thinks that it protects them from fucking consequences like facts. ridiculous <laughs> right so it's like women common not, sense basically right like oh yeah that, that's right in the last video she would say equal rights and equal lefts, lefts motherfucker <laughs> like stop putting your hands on people you put hands on people and get, not, get your ass knocked out as you should mm. And, and and she's the one say she asked this question and yet you could we could watch the people on the on the the platform torture themselves to try to 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 torture the fucking logic to try to make it make sense for how women should be able to hit men but men cannot hit them back and it's like that can't make sense ever but yet she came out here and chopped it down immediately I like that Agreed. and she got a lot of content like that so we'll see what you're talking about in this one I mean. Just on the topic at hand, I think that's pretty fucking obvious, right? It's like men don't don't want pass around women. Like we've known that forever. That has been known forever. Like that that's not an internet phenomenon. Ph phenomenon. That's that's not new. That's that's something we've known forever. So it's like, why is it now, in the new era, that now you choose to have to to, to have a problem with it? Right. We. In 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 the nineties, we knew if you was a hooker, ain't nobody wants your goofy ass. If you was a goddamn streetwalker, ain't nobody wants your ass. We we knew that. So why now in twenty twenty two, motherfuckers is confused as to why we don't want a shorty with a thousand bodies, huh? Women control access to sex. Men, our relationships are transactional. Men want sex. Women want relationships. Women control access to sex. Men control access to relationships. True. It's a game that you're playing with a guy. If you cannot withhold sex long enough for him to kind of get to the point where he feels like he needs to wife you, then you, you, you're playing the game right. And yeah, but that's never going to work because if you're going to try and hold sex over, th that, that, that tactic is, a, is a, an old school tactic. Yeah. Because that, that is a tactic for a sexual marketplace that, 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 that doesn't have all this access out here. Mm -hmm. There's too many thoughts out here. Mm -hmm. If you start acting like like you got a chastity belt on, he's going to be like, all right, next. Mm -hmm. there's, there's 300 more thoughts in tw that, 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 that's in my Tinder inbox. Mm -hmm. Like, stop playing with me. Willing bro. to give it up. Tinder matches. Like, stop yep. playing with me. Yep. So it's like, I don't, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know. I feel like that's not really good advice to give women. <laughs> like, uh, that, that's not going to work. Like that whole hold on to it for 60 days shit. Like, good luck with that. But, and also, a lot of guys, if they know you've slept with guys before, like, very quickly, they're, 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 and they want to date you, but you're making them wait, they're just thinking, like, what, what, what am I doing here? You didn't make him wait. Uh -huh. 100%. Every dude has thought the exact same thing. If they ever tried to get with a girl, but they knew that she had also beat somebody else that they knew. Like, they know that so-and-so hit on the very first day he met her, yet she making you go on three and four dates it's just like she must either have a husband a boyfriend or brothers because yeah right she oh, be oh. talking she's talking that facts, facts right she be talking facts right absolutely uh -huh. and 
so a lot of guys get frustrated and just don't leave because, right. you know, it's like you slept with three guys on the football team, so what, why on earth am I waiting for this? Right. But then that just shows you, was it serious in the first place then? That just shows that he's just actually there for sex because... It, no, no. No, it doesn't. It just, it, it, it doesn't show I'm just there for sex, but it does show that you use a thought, and, but yet you give it, you gave out something that will eventually, supposed to be just for me, to everyone else, for free, easily, yeah. but me, gotta work for it, gotta work for it, so to me, that's a, a signal that you don't like me, mm-hmm. not, not the other way around, mm-hmm. it's not, oh, I'm only here for sex, and therefore, because I don't get it fast enough from you, that... I leave. No, it's that I know you out here fucking. So if you taking it along with me, you must not right. like me. Yep. And I'm not wasting about your to. Time. You're not right. You're wasting my time, and yep. I'm not about to get used. Yep. Because you're perfectly fine staying, giving staying randos. in, giving it to randos, but then also staying in this limbo with me, where I'm not fucking, but I'm paying mm-hmm. for everything. Mm-hmm. You're fine to stay there. Make uh, it make sense. Right. Please, please, make please, it make please. Sense. Go ahead, quicker than I hurry. No, it shows. One, men value purity, so they don't want a girl that slept with a lot of guys. But it's fine for them. But it's fine for them to do. Yeah, yeah, because men and women are different. Uh-huh. Like it's easy for us. You can walk outside. I could walk outside. Oh, we're human. Okay. What? Um, no, yeah. I, I I agree. We're all human. Like it's not like girls don't want to have sex, <laughs> but it, it's valuable to a guy to have a girl that hasn't had as many experiences because it lowers your value the more people you slept with. I find that ridiculous. Sadly, sadly. Oh, it's, it's true. Can't wait why, for this. Why, yeah, why is that? Society just made it like this. This is so stupid. Yeah, 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 one at a time, guys. Bi- time. Biologically, men and women are different. So historically, men had to ensure paternity. So they had to make sure that the woman that they were sleeping with, like that she was passing on his genes. Mm-hmm. And so we can't make around. our biological like, need oh, go away. Kid the same is not way theirs. we can't help that we like men taller than us because historically we had to find a guy to protect us. Mm-hmm. It's just innate in them. They can't help it. So it, it like, <laughs> how ish, ish, how would you feel if you were dating a girl and you found out later, like after you were together, that she slept with three of your boys? <laughs> <laughs> No. Three, three acquaintances. You don't know them well. Oh, that's still. I found out later. Yeah, later. Yeah, no, I'd be fuming. Yeah. 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 If, I, if, I knew before, if you knew it's one thing, but it, but like, but I if that's hidden from you, and then it's just like you find out later, it's just like I'm wow. in a bad place. Weird. Right. Yeah. Like, how did I get here? Like, I, I, like this is weird now. Right. Like, women don't. Women cannot under. I mean, just based on those three women, they seem to be seem to be a little clueless. But it's just mm-hmm. like they can't seem to. They can't comprehend what a man's point of view is when he's with a girl that has been ran through. Mm-hmm. Like, the, he can't comprehend what that feels like because they don't have that feeling. Mm-hmm. Like, that, that's, that's an emotion that women don't have, right? They don't... They may take aversion to a guy having slept with mad people, but usually that's not a deal breaker. It's not, it's not something that really matters that much to them. So just like how, I think on other podcasts, they polled the women and asked them, on your wedding day, that's right. You found out that your hu- your your about to be husband, mm-hmm. I don't know, had a five some with a bunch of girls, or yeah, something something like mm-hmm. that, right? And then just one time or whatever, and then, but and would you call off the wedding? No. no. What are you talking about? That like, no, all of them are like, what the fuck? No. <laughs> yes, the guys. If you found out your girl had a train ran on her by five dudes. Oh, oh my God. Y'all weren't together. It doesn't matter, right? Y'all weren't together. But like, had a tri- right by, would you call off the wedding? Some of them are like, I don't know. I might think about it. I might consider it. Like, what? No. That is insane. The guys were like, no. We're like, fuck no. Get the away from me. Like no. like, no way, bro. Like, Y- y'all could never understand what that feels like. It's like, whoa, bro, flip me over the fucking balcony. Are you kidding? <laughs> what? Can't live with some shit like that. Choice. Obviously, I wouldn't oh, do it, oh, but okay. I would have made a choice to be there. But if, if I know later, now I'm in deep, then mm. I would be fuming because I've invested all this time, effort, money to know that there's brothers in and around me looking at me going, yeah, no. I've... Now I kind of right. You know, now, right. Yeah, now what if right. you waited a month to bang her and you found out that all of them slept with her out on the first date? 
Yeah, I'm fighting everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, right, I'm fighting everybody. Right, what? He's Not a, everybody. Right, could you imagine the Pete? She had you walking around, niggas in and around you, looking at her like, yeah. Had that, we had that. Yeah, had that one bent over the, the, the railing or whatever. Wow. Like, and you over here like, ah, oh, this is my girlfriend. You look fucking ridiculous. You look, you look ridiculous. Yeah. That's why, that's why that, Reason that thought process is the reason why niggas don't want to to have a girl that's been ran through is because other niggas can see y'all together and then picture in their mind how they had your girl laid out somewhere and it's just like bro, bro what? Like the dis the disrespect could never it's the never ending disrespect like you gotta, like you gotta kill that motherfucker like are you kidding me? Facts. <laughs> because a guy wants you to like view him as the best that like you can do. So if if we're going around making one guy wait and make, giving it to another guy immediately, like to the guy, it, it's like you don't like him. You like. To Thank you. More. I just said that. Mm-hmm. She she out here booming. That's I'm what I'm saying, you, she son. She has a husband. Yes, sir. Or brothers, I'm telling you, like. Hey, shit. We should be on this ship. They 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 overseas. But right. God damn it. Hey, interview us, son. Son. She out here booming, son. That's what I'm saying. Like, yo, what? It just seems like you don't like me. There's no way you fuck six niggas on the first date and I gotta take you on six dates. Have you lost your fucking mind? Does that even make sense? But they'll just say, oh, no, well, it's a different person. Yeah, huh? I bet. Fuck out of here. And you're just settling for the other guy, right? Would you mind? Is that? Yeah. Yeah. That's a good point. Yeah. Right. Men don't like to feel like they're being settled for. That's all I think. Right. Or used. What did he say? He doesn't. Men. He's He's British. I know, he's but British, he's, he's also whispering so No, much. he said men don't um don't want to feel like they're being settled for. Okay. Men like um, feel like a woman is there to settle for him. Uh, men, like you said, does like to feel like um he is the best that, that woman wants. If you don't feel like that, then... Uh, I like the way he said it right. better because right. like he, yeah. when she said the best that she could do, I was like, oh, that was like, right. <laughs> what? <Yeah. laughs> right, but he the said be- it better. But the best that you want, right. But it's right. just like... It, and the other, and the analogous portion to that is that if she doesn't feel like that, then she's more likely to cheat on you. Yeah. Because yeah. she's more likely to more easily be able to come across something she thinks she, better. Yeah, yeah. Hypergamy, she out of there. Absolutely, yeah. So the thing is, I think, uh, you know, whoever you you get as a partner, they want to be treated like a 10 and you want to be treated like a 10. Whether you are objectively in terms of beauty standards or not isn't the point. <laughs> So the kind of relationship Shut. you have with your partner, you should be each other's tech. Shut your ass. What I'm saying. If but you don't watch the video, is that, is that possible? I'm not playing with you. Like a five is yeah, now for a ten. No, he's not. I don't think so. I don't well, that's, 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 yeah. That's the the problem is I don't think that can happen where everyone gets their first choice because especially nowadays you have eighty percent of women sleeping with twenty percent of guys. You so yeah. the five thinks she's an eight because she's sleeping with the eight, nine, or ten. Oh shit! She. Oh no! We we got. We got wee we got waffles logic. logic. Here. <laughs> oh shit, we got wheat. We got wheat. We got wheat. We got wheat waffles. I'm about to put the <laughs> right. Uh, she got. We got wheat waffles logic here. Logic. Hey, so I'm talking about. I love to we, hear it. We got fives out here moving like they tens. I love to hear it. Absolutely. Oh my god. Just because they're sleeping with an so eight or a ten. When she right. gets married, she's gonna view her husband as less. That's another issue with um, sleeping with a lot of guys. Did you know if you sleep with more than five guys, hmm. your chance of a happy marriage after ten years goes from eighty percent to twenty five percent. Oh wow. Shit. Wow. 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 Yo, look, 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 look. Look. <laughs> look, look. Look at Shorty in the middle. I'm the, actually the I'm confusion, kidding. she said. Wow. What? Mm-mm-mm. I mean that sounds about right. I mean, if you if you add the you crave, like right, you but, end up craving right. just more and more, and it's just like unhappy. I yeah, guess. Yeah, no, yeah, because you because you because of the amount of people you've been with, you right. think well, there's always something, something better. better. And also, if if you add on to that the fact that like eighty percent of divorces are initiated by, by women, women, it's just like so women were the ones leaving anyway. <laughs> so no, it makes so sense. right. So if you Holy so if you do if you do all this fucking. You gonna have even Ooh. more reasons to leave. Women were doing all this. Mm. Listen, and and those statistics mm. come from 
like a pre, the the pre internet age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So even the before data all this, over time. Yeah, yeah, over yeah, fucking yeah. fifty years. Yeah. So yeah. even all 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 this Dude, all this bull crazy. before all this bullshit, women were still doing the leaving. Mm. So now with all these options, of course they're gonna be doing even more leaving. Mm. So it's like of, so that's why the marriage rates are in the fucking toilet. Because there's mm. even more reasons to leave than it before. Makes sense. Wow. That's crazy. I mean, sense. math, right? right? Because, because the more men you sleep with, it, it, you lose your ability to bond with each one. Pair bonding. Right. Yeah, it's pair bonding. So, right, right, right. so if you sleep with one guy, you're going to compare the next guy to him. To the, if you sleep mm-hmm. with 10 guys, you compare all 10. If you sleep with 20, you compare all 20. And guys hate being compared, compared to, to other guys. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. they hate being, but it, it makes you more divorced. Like, yeah. you're not <laughs> likely to be divorced, divorced, but you're more likely to leave if you did that because you're with your husband thinking about the last, like, Ten guys that maybe weren't as good as the one you married, or or or, or maybe were, right? <laughs> they don't got nothing to say. Boomed on you. They don't got nothing to say. They got boomed on. Oh my god. Wait, but mostly girls. Okay. <laughs> girls always go for like a relationship. So cool. If they sleep with more than ten people. She said five, five, bitch. Oh, okay, more than five people. She said five. They find someone. Are they still gonna be okay? Cool, like he's not as best as Jake. Yes, well, that's the point. I don't think that's. I don't well, think it, that's, it depends on the girl. It, it yeah. absolutely depends on the girl. Okay. But, but these statistics are for marries. everybody. Does she marry a guy that's better than all the guys she slept with, or does she feel like she's settled? Like, like, I'll give you an example. If there's a guy, like, for me, and I didn't realize what I was doing, right? But if there's a guy that, to me, is, like, a, like a nine. There's a, there, there's a, there's a, an example of this is a story that I heard of some, a woman that was, like, terminally ill and was about to die. And on her deathbed, she asked her husband if she could sleep with her ex. She belongs to the streets. Before she died. Are you kidding? Yep. Straight like that. Yep. Mm-hmm. I'm sure you some of y'all probably heard that too. Dad. And <clears throat> that's She's the example. Longing for that. Wow. Right, wow. and that's the example. It's just like the she feels like she settled for this guy, and maybe that one guy was the best sex she ever had, or whatever. And this guy just can't measure up for whatever reason. And. That's foul. And so the whole time she's been thinking in her, every time they probably do it, she's thinking, uh, he's not as good as so-and-so. That's this problem. That's this That's right foul. here. That's this right here. Right? And he's talking to me. I'm like, why are you talking to me? Because I, yeah. I just immediately think that he wants, like, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I'm like, you're a little out of my life. Um, you just oh, oh, the guy she said is a nine. And it's because, and I didn't realize that's an innate, like, response to not wanting to be alpha widowed. That sleeping with someone, she's afraid to sleep with someone so high valued, be, or she felt like she would have would have been afraid to sleep with someone who was so high valued because she's like, if that person leaves me, no one else I ever meet again will compare because I don't think I can get someone that good again. Type shit. Huh. Never heard that before. Your husband might pay for it because you're sleeping with your husband wishing it was the other guy. Huh? And I don't know about you, but I've I found that there's always girls always have one ex no. that they like, mm. and, and so every guy, so your hu- alpha widow is basically when you sleep with a guy that's so high value, no one else can compare. Mm. Okay. And, and so every guy, so your husband might pay for it because okay, you're see. sleeping with your husband wishing it was the other guy. Okay, it's okay. the same thing I was just saying. Okay, it, yeah, right? yeah, Is yeah, that, okay. right. Oh, that's just cool. God damn. And I don't know about you, but I've I found no, I that there's that. always girls always have one ex that they like can't get caught get over that they can't that it doesn't matter who they date after no because I always misunderstood what you're saying and, and I was like, I was like oh, like, oh I, that. No, I remember just I thinking wow this is so weird like everyone's got that one and that's how everyone's alpha widow <laughs> like I'll, I'll give you a story I tell this story all the time on my show so there was a girl I went to school with she was like the girl next door you never would have known she um she slept with a guy or she was dating a guy for like a month freshman year okay and they broke up because he was kind of a player like he cheated on her like in like a month like that's so soon yeah i know i know <laughs> like you couldn't make it a month anyway it's kind of anyway, yeah yeah uh, so like fast forward four years later she's dating a new guy this man treats her like a queen okay he bought her a house 
She bought her, yeah, she bought her a house, moves her into the house. Are you I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> they're still together. They're still on the phone. Yeah. <laughs> no, they're still together the to this day. I would say he probably wasn't as, like, good-looking as the guy from freshman year or had, like, as, as much of a smooth talker. Yeah. But, like, like good, reliable, responsible guy. Bought her a house, moved her in, all this stuff. Wow. We're at a party, okay? Mm-hmm. And, um, oh, yeah, I'm at a party. And she's there, and her the guy that bought her the house isn't coming, but he's going to get there in, like, an hour, okay? And I see her. She goes into the bathroom, and I'm like, why, why is that? Like, where'd, I, where'd, um, where'd she go? And, and, um, and, she, and, and um, she, she comes, and I see her come out of the bathroom with um, the guy from freshman year. Day after day. Sake, yep. sleeping with him in the back. I don't know how yep. long or what happened. She I just, was, I just was like, just and you never would have known. She was like the girl next door. Yep. And and then the husband uh, was showing yeah, up she's later. Still with that the other guy today. What is and that? that? So when I think of Alpha Widow, that's what I think of. Was she drunk? Who know. cares, was bitch? Was she drunk? <laughs> that doesn't make a difference. Anything you would do drunk, you would do that shit yep. sober. Stop yep. playing with me. Yep. It's not an excuse. Agreed. Every yep. every woman that ever said that, she, oh, I was drunk. Yep. You're a thought. Stop playing. It's, yeah. Was no, she drunk? No. no I, I don't know. Like, I wasn't super close with her like that. We were just on the same, like, we just, yeah, like, we're the same friends, right? But I, I was like, oh, my God, this happened so long. This is for, like, she's probably hooking up with him the whole time. And so yep. I think of an alpha, like, that's, that's the problem when you get a bigger and bigger body count is, like, you're more likely to find a guy that the next guy can't compete with. Especially if you're batting out of your league. Hmm. Wow. Charles, are you still tied up with the other guy? That's that's hella tough. Yeah. And it's much easier for women to bat out of their league than for men to bat out of their league. Yeah, yeah. Because it, that's why a lot of fives think they're ni- they're eights. <laughs> because rich motherfucker will slide on anything if it's well not anything, but will slide on something. <laughs> definitely not anything, but something will slide slide on something decent yeah. if. It's just the only thing there, and you're bored. Just like, all right, whatever. It ain't nothing to me. And men do not get opportunities as easily as women. Because right. Even even if you're that guy. We are the ones that hold the power, just like they said in the beginning of the video. Like, we hold the sex part, they hold the relationship part. So, you know, we have to give them the okay. Like, yeah, we'll have sex with you. So, if we're out here telling them no all the time. They're not getting the opportunities as much as or as often or quickly right. as, you know, when you do want to give it up. I mean, to I mean, that's the most obvious thing is that even the most average women get get more opportunities than high level dudes. And for less work, mm-hmm. since all the women have to do is exist. I hey, was yo. I was just about to like leave the school. You're just like, this is like, nothing to do with I'm, me. I'm graduating. I'm yeah. not like, going to like. I don't care, yeah. right. So, men really shouldn't leave with their wallets when it comes to you know, yes, sir. engaging Thank you. with females. They no. Should they no. Should, they should, no. They should, no. They should, no. Like, money no. is a bonus. No. Yeah, Never. It's a nice thing to have. Yeah, it's a do nice thing to afford. I heard that stupid she said that they should sometimes. Nah, no. Shut up. It's a thing to spend on your partner, yeah. But if you're going to buy a house. Well, he didn't, he didn't, like, I didn't leave with his wallet. Oh, okay. It was after a couple of years. Oh, okay. oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah. Wow. He thought, yeah, they were they were together for like a minute. Like, he thought he just wow. bought her a house Gee, just like that. He didn't, okay. yeah, I'm telling you, like some guys, and I, 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 maybe you guys would disagree, but I don't think the boyfriends, I think it's very hard for men to tell if you're the girl's second choice mm-hmm. because she might, yep. you really? might not be fighting all the time. You might, like, you, you really probably won't ever know. The friends know. Yep. The yeah, fr- yeah, the friends. I see. Yeah, the I see. Know. Yeah. Tell you the family. Yeah. Not, the, I mean, are, you, you. are you going to tell the girlfriend if your friend's cheating? Exactly. Yes. It's I, will, I personally. I will. I, will. I don't care. I don't, I, I, mean, I, I, I don't care. I'm sorry. You would want. That's your business. <laughs> no, no. Okay. Okay. I would tell you. You need to get your shit together. But she's. Let's say she has a boyfriend. Yeah. Yeah. She's cheating. Oh, yeah. she's cheating. Yeah, you know. Right. I know. Do you tell her boyfriend? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> no, if, if the guy 
Yeah, it's Chilo Hot. No, no, I'm talking about your friend. The bomb seat. It's the guy Chilo Hot. I'll tell you. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, of course. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Both genders are loyal to each other in that way. Exactly. Right. But we're not gonna we're not gonna snitch if our girl's cheating or if the guy's cheating. That's, that's not so my place. Why would I? Since we were like 14 years old. I'll tell you about yourself, but... Like, we've been friends for over 10 years. Right. If I if I knew that he had a wife and he was cheating on her, he, I think, I could look him in the eye and say we would probably fight. Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap right now. Stop the cap. I think I can look him in the eye and just genuinely just like the question. Yeah, but you, fight, but you yeah. might but fight, but you're not going to tell her. Right. You're not going to tell her. That's right. not your I business. I highly doubt that he would. He would right. kill you. You're right. not. You're not gonna tell her, bro. Right. That you're not, I can you, see the fighting, but tell. You her. might have him up like, "What are you doing?" Right. But you're not. But you're not gonna. You're not gonna tell her. I know you're not gonna do that. Right. Like, I don't care what he says. There's no way he's gonna do but that. Would you? I mean, you might. <laughs> <laughs> and his friend seems hesitant. I don't know. Something to say. Well, yeah, you might say it to him, but you're not gonna go to his wife. Well, I would probably give him an ultimatum and say, "If you aren't gonna tell your wife." Right, but you're an exception. Something's gonna happen. But that's a bluff. You're not, you're not that is a bluff. That. You're not doing that. Right. <laughs> that is such a bluff. Yo, buddy in the back is like, he's capping. Cap, bro. Thank you. Cap, cap attack. You're not doing that. You, I, no I, you won't. You won't. <laughs> you, your friend that you've known for. I don't, it hasn't happened yet, so you don't know. Right. Your friend you've had for ten fucking years, you know this motherfucker since you were fourteen. You're not doing that. No. You're not. You ruin your. You ruin your friendship. Right. You're Why not would doing you do that. that? Why For what? You... That's not your wife. Why right. do you give a fuck? Why would you? Why would you ruin your friendship over somebody else's wife? Like what? That's his wife, bro. Why do you? What the fuck? There's no. no. That doesn't make no. any sense. Right. Like, this is the type of motherfucker where where you commit a bank robbery, he finds out and snitches on you. Like, what, what? the fuck? You're not my friend. What the hell, motherfucker? Jesus. I'll, 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 I'll think you're capping on the I'm sense. Not... Yeah. It's not like. It's not like his wife. Is your sister. Like, yeah, right. If I like, was a sister, I could understand that. <laughs> right, either you gonna tell her or I'm gonna beat you up. But god damn it. In this situation, oh. yes, I believe you'd get angry with I am more loyal to my principal than I am my friend. Let me finish. What? Oh! What? Oh! No, see. So you must not have any friends, period. Right. Because, like, well, we gotta, we, gotta, we gotta address that. Because, hold on. <laughs> One of your principals should be loyalty to your, to your friends. friends. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, So absolutely. you can't, oh, my principles are above my loyalty. My, no, one of your principles should That's be loyal to your friends. That's the whole point. That's what are you fact. talking about? What? <laughs> I'm weak right now. Bruh, it's like if you, That's your friend you know, you, your friend you know since he was 14, shot somebody. Oh. And then you see it on the news. No, call, his principles going to be. Call, call this number if you know who shot so-and-so and, so, and you know it was your friend. Mm-hmm. I'm not to call, I'm not calling anybody, bro. He is. The police show up here. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh my I, I don't work for them. I don't have to solve crimes. I have no, I have sworn no oaths to solve crimes. I don't have to solve any crimes, bro. All right? I'm not the police. Why would I tell? Why would I say anything? It's not my fucking business. Oh, okay. I will forget that shit in a heartbeat, bro. Like, what? I will forget that ever happened. So, like, what do you... I don't understand how now... That's your man's, and you're gonna go. You, you're just gonna snitch on him. Stealing's wrong too. Somebody should ask him that. So, That's so, blind and dumb. What so, you say? So, right. Exactly. What you say to me? Oh, I, say? I didn't hear that. Yep. I didn't hear that. Oh shit! I didn't I'm hear that. Blind and dumb. I, what? He said he stole. You, you did what? Huh? Fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> like what? <laughs> I would never my own. Oh, stop it. Mm. Or 
status. So they are willing to go through the bullshit as long as it's not out in the open and people don't know. And yeah, he's quite a mm, That's yeah. that, that that is that that's that's definitely one scenario mm-hmm. where motherfuckers are millionaire and they're just like whatever. And then and they and as long as it's not out in the open and embarrassing them, and then you go and then embarrass them, right? <laughs> right by by minding other people's business. Shut right. the fuck up! You didn't hear? You don't know nothing. Right. Like what? Attracted to guys that cheat. I mean, why do you think they say men are trash? <laughs> why do you think they're always complaining about getting cheated on? We pick them. <laughs> 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 Booming again, son. She's like, yeah, hey, you you pick them though. They cheat. You men ain't shit. Why are you picking any shit, niggas? And women out here, when they know there are other people who have a high high value man and they desire them, like everybody is in competition. So it's just like for the same set of niggas for the same people, <laughs> and they know that they're desired and wanted. So it's just like y'all all go for the same. You again, you pick them. Right, you pick them. You pick the same motherfuckers. So that that's so your historically, choice. if a man could take care of other women, that that meant that. Um, like, that meant that he could take care of us. So if we see that he's taking care of another woman, like, then we're attracted to that. It's, yeah. kind, of, it's kind of messed up. What did I just girls say? girls you know that get cheated on and go back. And go back. That's mm-hmm. a fact. That's a fact. That is a fact. And go back. Mm. Nah, yeah, nah. They were spitting facts on here. Those three women in the back there had absolutely nothing, nothing to, to say. say. Nothing to rebut I anything. I do like this podcast. We, That's yes. a fact. We got to peep more of this. Yes. Pearly out here. Sniping from the rafters. Mm-hmm. She, we, 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 we go, go ahead and look. Lone survivor. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking the, she, Logic. she, she, Mark Wahlberg in that movie. Y'all here hiding in the, in the, in the dust shooting motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Out here working. Logic out here. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's what we need. Respect. Women out here talking at, talk, talking at talk. Yeah. Because, if a man said the exact same thing she said, those women in the back would have lost their fucking mind. They yeah. would have never been able to take it. Maybe y'all listen if a woman tell y'all. Anyway, that's it for this one. We'll holla at you.